Today we're looking at a method that can help you figure out the number of factors of any integer really quickly and really easily. Uh, so let's say you're given an integer x. The first step in this method, first step in this method is to factor that number. So you'll be given something in the form of a to the b times c to the d. Uh, this might go on forever. You have some more integers to, to random exponents, but you factor the number x and you're given something in this form. This is the factorization of x. Uh, you can get it by doing that prime factorization tree or whatever methods. Um, but once you're given a factorized form of that integer x, the formula is pretty easy. So if you want to find the number of factors of this, the answer to that is just b plus 1 times d plus 1. And of course, if there's more factors, say you've got an e to the f here, then it'd be times f plus 1, etc., etc., etc. All the exponents that you see in the prime factorization, you just add one to them and you multiply them all together. So let's say we've got an integer, let's pick, uh, I don't know, 20 for now. That's a pretty small integer. Uh, we can factor that really easily. 20 is 2 times 10 or 2 times 5. And you can see this times this times this. So we know 20 is equal to 2 squared times 5. And this is as simple of a factorization as we can get because both of the bases, 2 and 5 here, are both prime numbers. So we know we can't get any more uh, factorized than this. So now we just add 1 to all the exponents and multiply them together. So we see our first exponent here is 2. And the second exponent here, which is hidden, is a 1. It's 5 to the first, right? So that's the second exponent. So all we have to do is add one to both of those and multiply them together. One plus one is equal to three times two or six. And this is the number of positive integer factors of our original number 20. Uh, we can check that. The first factor of 20 is one, two, three doesn't work, four does, five, 10, and 20. Those are all the positive integer factors of 20. There are six of them, six here, it checks out, and we see that six is our final answer. So let's do another problem just to revise our understanding, and we can do a slightly bigger number. Let's say 100. And we're just factorizing this again. This is 10 times 10, or two times five times two times five. Two times five times two times five. Those are just primes we multiply to each other. We simplify this, that's 2 squared times 5 squared. And that's the most factorized we can get. This is really similar to our last problem. We've got a 2 and a 5 in the base. Those are both primes, so we know this is as factorized as possible. So our next step is add 1 to all the exponents in our prime factorization here. Our first exponent is the 2 here, and our second exponent is the 2 there. Add 1 to that first 2. Add 1 to the second two exponent and you get 3 times 3 or 9. So we know there are 9 factors of 100. So again, let's test this out. Uh, our first factor of 100 is 1. We know 2 works. 4, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the next one. Now we can't use 10 again. Uh, that's a repeat. So we go to 20, 25, 50, 100. Let's count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oops, 7, oops, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 factors and we've checked that out. So let's do one more with a much bigger number so we can see how easy this is. Because with a lot of these smaller numbers, uh, this method might not be as fast. It might even be quicker to just list the prime factors, right? Or the number of factors of a number. Uh, like say you've got six, it'd be easier to just list out, hey, one, two, three, six, than to do the whole prime factorizing and then adding thing. But I think this method works really good with larger numbers. So let's try something with like 3,072. So we see that this is divisible by three. Uh, because the digits add up to a, uh, a number that's divisible by 3. 3 plus 7 plus 2, that's 12, which is divisible by 3. So we know that 3072 is divisible by 3. So let's go ahead and factor this. This is 3 times 1024. And this is an important number to remember. We know that that is actually equal to 2 to the 10th. 
So that's something handy to remember. So uh, we can rewrite 3072 as 3 times 2 to the 10th. I just rewrote that up here. So again, we just do our method one more time. So this is 3 to the 1st. It's the same thing as 3 times 2 to the 10th. So we do the same thing, add 1 to all the exponents, and then multiply those together. And remember, we can just disregard the bases. So our exponents are 1 and 10. So let's add 1 to each of those. 1 plus 1 times 10 plus 1 is equal to 2 times 11 is equal to 22. So there are 22 factors, 22 positive integer factors of 3072. So these kind of problems show up relatively often on uh, tests like the SAT or the ACT. They ask you, they give you an integer and they ask you, hey, how many factors does this thing have? Or something like that, and it'd be multiple choice. So instead of listing all the factors out, you now have an easier way that'll get, help you get through those questions a lot quicker.